What's up, guys? If you didn't know, and I hope you can hear me, it's raining. As my granddad used to say, and my dad says, like a cow peeing on a flat rock, it's raining. And it's going to rain all day long and all night. So what we got to do today is get the goat shed some fresh hay, check on old Hoss, probably dump out what he's been uh, sleeping in just to give him some fresh bedding. Because tomorrow, right now it's 37. Tomorrow it's going to be, I think the high is like 17. So all this rain is going to freeze tonight when it gets colder. And honestly, that's kind of worse than snow. Uh, I'd much rather have snow. But uh, not this time. Just rain, and then freezing rain, and then frozen ice. Anyway, we gotta pick up a couple things and uh, we'll get started. I also need to change the uh, straw in the goat shed. Uh, they've had it for a little while and before they, when they were brand new to that area, when we first brought them out there, they were not too sure about the shed and they were kind of anxious about it and we wanted to accommodate. So I put a bunch of straw in there, I put some hay, hoping they'd eat the hay and it ended up being, as you know, goats. Um, it's quite a, I want to say, it's not mess, it's just, it doesn't look fresh. And if it's going to be 20 degrees tomorrow, you know, I'd really like to get some fresh straw in there for them. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. We've got to get a couple things to make our job easier. And also, uh, to reference Jason again, we got to go pick up some uh, LED lights from Walmart. So save ourselves a ton of money because the ones I was looking at were upwards of $100 for these grow lights for our seeds. And yeah, Jason's proven time and again, I'd say we all know he's got one of the best gardens and he's proven time and again that these uh, LED lights do just fine for $20. So let's go get some. So, oh man, I hate when I get in my truck and I left my keys in my pocket. You're the big dude. I don't. Woo! So, it's times like right now, and this is rain gear, by the way. I know it's cloth. 
I'm not an idiot. I'm staying dry. I want to catch cold. But uh oh, I'm trying not to get off my driveway here. Oops. I just went off the driveway a little bit. My dad's gonna text me when he gets home this afternoon. In case you're new. And I think I had 19 subscribers uh, for like two weeks. And then good old Jason down at Cog Hill. What a sweet guy, man. I think we all know that. Uh, him and Brooke and Mary Carl, all of them. But he gave me a little shout out. So I picked up a little Cog Squad group. And that is awesome. As a, as a member of the Cog Squad myself, that's awesome. That's so cool, and y'all are so polite. And I told Jason that, and I thanked him. You know, you're coming over and telling me who sent you and how you found the channel, and I'm, uh, I'm still on a private drive here, seatbelt. But uh, anyway, it's so cool. I just wanna say a big thank you to Jason, and you know, I've learned so much from him, and if you follow us on, on Instagram, you see where I've tagged him and these lights I just got, start growing some plants, and. You know, I just wanted to know, I, I tag him like you guys do, even though I'm starting a YouTube channel and blogging and farming and all that, I still tag him because I wanted to know, you know, I'm doing this because of him, man. And uh, when we, I, I'm buying this because of him or I'm buying that because of him. And <clears throat> I, uh, I'm trying to be safe here. But I wanted to know. And uh, after we posted our seed video, um, a real nice person, maybe even Cog Squad, I don't know. A real nice person commented politely that I should check out. I think it's M.I. Gardner. I don't know if that's Michigan or what. I'd personally never heard of him. I know. YouTube is how it is, but they've apparently never suggested his channel, and I've never seen it. But uh, he apparently has seeds that he uh, harvests, if you will, uh, and distribu or distributes, <laughs> and that he sells. Uh, another like 99 cents or something and of course if you get on Hoss Tools' website and I don't know how many seeds you get for 99 cents like I don't know how many pumpkin seeds he has for 99 cents whereas Hoss Tools may have four times as many pumpkin seeds for their price of $3.99 and I sincerely appreciate that person commenting and showing me that there's better prices and whatnot um, and not to mention in my gardener's channel wow the guy's got it down but uh I encourage you guys, I'm a small business owner, not just a YouTuber and vlogger, and I encourage you guys to support the channel that brought you up, so to speak. And in turn, I want to support Haas Tools because that supports Jason. And so as one of his loyal followers, Cog Squad, I want to support Jason through Haas Tools. And uh, so that's why I did it, you know. We, we may find a different source next year. We may find some other seeds that Hoss Tools doesn't carry. Uh, I don't know how that's possible. But, um, yeah. That's why we ordered from there. And I appreciate all the comments. And some of y'all commented on Instagram about other places to get seeds. And I sincerely appreciate it. I'm very grateful. So, anyway, right now, all that blabbering aside. If you don't know, obviously my house is 10 minutes from a farm. So, where do I keep my straw? I'm a feed extra tea posts, things like that. Well, I got a little storage unit. And somebody is so close to my bumper, I can't see their headlights. That's not nice, don't, don't be like that. Don't be like them, I'm being nice. I didn't brake check them, didn't give them the hillbilly howdy, tell them they're number one. No peeking, I gotta type my code in. Every time I drive through a gate that's been open or something, I always hear the Star Wars theme in my head. Because if Case was in the truck, he's a school, unfortunately. If he was in a truck, he'd be humming it, like the, the grand old gate opening. So, but all right, here's the storage unit. Let's get some hay. Let 
me know if you guys kind of like this uh, vlogging style videos. Um, I'm more used to the how-to stuff. It's kind of my nature. I'm an IT guy by trade and small business owner, IT, uh, computers, da da da. At a former job, I worked for a school district and I was a professional development coach. And I taught teachers how to use the interweb and teach your students with it. So I can't help but go to the how-to style videos. But I like the vlog, and it's out of my it's out of my wheelhouse. It takes me out of my comfort zone. Um, I have no problem with public speaking. Uh, I do that quite a bit, actually. Um, I always look really serious. Somebody told me I need to smile more, but. You know, um, yeah, I like this vlogging style. Um, and in case you're trying to stop me, I'm cutting out little areas in the background, signs, familiar so you'll never find me. If you do, they'll never find you. But I like this vlogging style. I like showing you guys what we do and what it's like having a farm 10 minutes from the house and how we accommodate doing things like that. Anyway, let me know what you guys like. The how-to videos are gonna happen no matter what. You know, I gotta build a chicken coop. But let me know if you just want to see the chicken coop or if you want like a little bit of vlog before it and you know running to get to running to the store to get materials and things like that um, you know let me know i've got seasoned veteran subscribers you guys know what to do comment down below let me know what you like Now I know what you're thinking. Why in the world is he doing this when it's raining? Well, cause yesterday it was 40 and 45 and it was kind of sunny-ish and I worked at home in another video that you haven't seen yet. So I did know it was gonna rain today. Uh, I just chose to work from home yesterday and take care of some things and all that good stuff. So plus it's kind of hard to complain about 40 degrees and a little bit of rain when if you subscribe to Al Lumna, it was like negative 15 a couple days ago with a foot of snow and he had to go do his morning chores. So yeah, Al's a lot tougher than me. So one thing I didn't think about is I don't want this to get wet. So I gotta carry it all the way to the barn without putting it down. This should be a good time. My watch better tell me I'm working hard today. We'll miss your midnight. I know, man, you're missing your hands. Hey, I told you to leave them alone. 
I don't think they felt the same way about you as you do about them. I know how that goes, trust me. I won't get into details, but it's all right. Why don't you get in there and get dry, dude? If you follow us on Instagram, which I hope you do, uh, I post there like three or four times a day. You know, it's just so easy. I really like the platform and I'm used to it. So go follow us on Instagram. There's a link down below. Uh, it's at Adler Farms. We've also got Twitter and Facebook and everything I post on Instagram automatically goes to Facebook and Twitter. So if you follow us on any of them, you'll see everything we post. But, you know, we've already shared that we have Django. Uh, we've already shared we've got, you know, 20 some chicks before I ever posted that video. And uh, so be sure and go follow us over there. And I can't stress this enough. I sincerely, sincerely appreciate Jason and Coghill. I don't know him, but if you guys watch Jason's videos, which I know you do, I think I'm talking to a couple hundred people from the Cog Squad, but uh, the man is just sincere about everything he does. And he wants you to learn. So like, that's why I talk about him. That's why I tag him uh, on social media. And, um, you know, a busy man, a busy family, uh, Brooke and Mary Carl and Jason, and they still find time to give you a thumbs up or a, a good job. And, uh, you know, I just sincerely appreciate everybody that he sent over coming along with us. We've got plenty more planned. Like I said, we're going to fence this pasture out here and yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm really, really excited about these animals. We're gonna we're gonna do some cool stuff but make sure you guys stay tuned please subscribe hit that like button hit the notification bell you know the drill you guys are seasoned subscribers uh, very but anyway i think that's going to wrap it up here for me today these are the morning chores and a few extras running around vlogging like i said let me know if you like this kind of video and i'll keep doing them uh, i'm self-employed so i'm very blessed you know i kind of set my own schedule so i've got time to do this thing and and hang out with you guys and all that stuff so but, and by all means if you guys see me doing something silly i'm a newbie a noob okay say something constructive criticism is great it's why i'm successful that's why we're all successful not necessarily the constructive criticism itself but how you handle that criticism will determine how successful you are so let me know you see me using a tool that's not the right one for the job. Um, now remember, I'm a dad, so do as I say, not as I do. But if you see something that I could do that was better, let me know. Um, you know, the goat shed needs to be this way, or something like that needs to be this way, or as we build this pasture out here. Let me know. I appreciate it. But y'all have a good day. God bless, and many, many thanks again. And I promise more case and Adler and videos to come. So, appreciate it.